Scott Harn is back. Now, this is what you do for a living. It you is. build fence. And that's a pretty mighty task. I mean, you, you deal with a lot of things. First of all, if you look around my farm, I have a few rocks, don't I? You do. <laughs> now, what do you call this type of fence that I'm putting up? For those who've never seen this process done. Well, this is a high tensile woven wire. Gotcha. And it's a, it's a 9496. And if you ever need to see those numbers, the nine is the horizontal strands. The 49 represents the height of the fence. The six represents your vertical stays. Gotcha. So they're six inches apart. Now for years I've had the movable fence, which, mm -hmm. is, which is great for certain things. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you're gone for several days and it rains and the ground's you know, kind of wet or dry and back and forth, I need something a little more solid. I need right. to know if I'm going away for a couple of days and they can, they can do well themselves. But I need to know that they can stay inside of that fence. Mm -hmm. That'll give me comfort give them comfort. So this is great. This, I mean, they're going to increase their area by almost double. Right. Anybody can drive a post, especially if you've got a post driver. Right. But the, the most important thing about building a fence, I mean, you got to keep a line, you got to know where you're going, so on and so forth. But the most important thing is what? The brace assembly. The brace assembly. Mm -hmm. What does that do? And how often do you have to, to set one of these brace assemblies up? Well, with this high tensile woven wire, we can go 12, 1500 feet. Oh, wow. Yeah. But this is the... That's that's what it all hinges on. That's the nuts and bolts mm -hmm. right here. Right. So what does it consist of? Again, we've been out here and you've got the corner set and you, you kind of know where you're going. What does it take to do this brace assembly? Well, you, first you need to post in the ground. Gotcha. And so we got some depth in the ground to hold, hold the assembly. Next, you want your brace pole to be two to two and a half times the height of your wire. I'm going to put this pole in, I've already cut it, and you'll notice I put some angles on it. This, this post is a little lower than the other post, so we want it to fit. And then drive a steeple down there at the ground. Oh, that's called the terminal post, the one behind you. Gotcha. This will be your brace post. There's gonna be a pin over there, I'm gonna drive that pin in, slide the pole up over the pin. Then I'm going to put a pin in here, I'll drill the hole, put the pin in, and I'm gonna figure eight this twitch wire. We're, uh, we're using a 12 and a half gauge um, high tensile wire for our twitch. A lot of folks use a nine gauge. This is a third again stronger than the nine gauge twitch wire. And I'm gonna tension it up. see me do some fancy little wraps that's uh, I'm gonna share with your viewers but it's uh, kind of my trademark So this, this is, again, the most important part of this whole process. It is, yeah, it is. My brace assembly can hold about 6,000 pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. I just gotta tell you, I think you got a pretty cool job. I do. This is, I mean, you're your own boss. Mm -hmm. Of course, I mean, you have to go here and you gotta go there and whoever's, whoever you're working for technically is your boss, but True. this is your thing. It is, yeah. How did you get involved in such a skill? Well, I've always enjoyed fencing. And about 10 years ago, I started doing it, I guess, to keep from starving. So <laughs> it, it just kind of developed. And Now, this is a small job. I mean, this is a couple acres. But what's, what's the biggest job you've ever done? How many? Thir uh, 35,000 feet. 35,000 On one feet. farm. Yeah. Wow. How long did that take you? A uh, month and a half, two okay. months, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you do good work. And we're just kind of following the farm, showing people what happens. and. We're expanding the field for the girls. You know, they're getting up there a few years, so mm -hmm. a couple more lambing seasons, and then we're gonna retire them. Okay. They're just gonna be big pets. But uh, we got a ram coming, right? Right. Because we yeah. need some more. That's right. We need yeah. some more lamb. You do good work, man. Thank you Appreciate very much. You. Thank you.